Welcome everybody, it's Sylvie McCracken from sylviemccracken.com. Today I have one of my incredible clients, Leslie Cole, who is a physician that specializes in addiction. Thank you for being here, Leslie. Oh, I am so happy to be here. Awesome. And Leslie's book is Quit Pain Pills Without the Withdrawal, How to Break Free of Your Dependence and Finally Wake Up Feeling Normal. I adore this topic. I think it is so needed and I cannot wait for this to be spreading far and wide as soon as it's ready, which is on what date? November 15th is the launch day. Amazing. Woo. I am so excited. And you've already done pre-sales and everything, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Cool. So we'll get into all that, a little bit of all of that. I've, you know, I've got so many incredible peeps. Sometimes I'm like, who's do, who's who and who's launching when? <laughs> it's a little bit confusing. But anyway, first of all, Leslie, why don't you share with people kind of what your journey has been as a physician of, I believe, is it 23 years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and so how, who do you work with and how do you work with them typically? Um, well, I, right now I work with patients who are struggling mostly with opioid, uh, yeah, opioid addiction, uh, either heroin or um, pain pills, Lortab, uh, and we see them weekly, sometimes monthly, uh, have them in groups, um, and it's... Um, I love it. Yeah. I love it. But it wears me out. Yeah, I believe it. It's so, I mean, just trying to get them in and get them out. Mm -hmm. There are so many people. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I so I, I bet. So what does your day typically look like or your week? What does that look like? Uh, my, uh, my day, like yesterday, I had... Um, I was there all day at the clinic and saw 25 people, wow. which was, you know, it's really um, interesting because everybody has got all these emotional things that, that they're needing to discuss. And um, there's so many things I want to tell them. Uh -huh. And now I'm so excited because I will be yeah. able to refer the book to them. Yeah. So yeah. So you don't have all day to be sitting there. Yeah. Uh -oh, no, you're kind of I don't. Quick. Yeah. It's so, so yeah. So like no. you have like short appointments and a limited amount of time. You've got to get right into it with them. You don't have time to try and you know read your book to them, <laughs> essentially. Which I'm sure you've been repeating yourself over and over again exactly. on every appointment. Yeah. Okay. Um, so <laughs> cool. So, so yeah, so that's, that, the, that's the perfect storm of like working too hard, you know, repeating yourself 80% of the time and obviously only being able to help a certain amount of people and obviously having that cap on your income as well. So was there any, you know, kind of hesitation as far as either becoming a writer, quote unquote, or really going online in a bigger way and really for all intents and purposes, you're starting a brand new business online and really packaging your work into this product. Was there any sort of hesitation that you had or any kind of self-doubt that you had to overcome before diving into that? Okay, yes, I had tons and tons and tons and tons of self-doubt, gobs and gobs. Um, my mother is a, was like for 30 years, a creative, uh, creative writing and English literature and world literature professor in a university. And so I could not think of, I wanted to write. I love reading. I love writing. I journal every single day and half for years and years and years. But the idea of putting my writing out mm -hmm. <laughs> where I would be graded, yeah. I couldn't stand the thought. Yeah. And then uh, in 2017, I got diagnosed with breast cancer. It got, I got chemotherapy, mastectomy, ended up um, coming, you know, coming out of it mm -hmm. and going, you know what? Everybody's going to die. Yeah. I'm, I'm alive right now. And it is time for me to do what I really, really feel is important. I had decided that. And then after that decision, was when your I saw your Facebook ad and I jumped on it and I set everything aside for the webinar and 
I plugged in, you know, I was scheduling that yeah. call with Angie. And on the yep. phone call with Andy, I'm like, yes, yes. Listen, I'm already sold. Just tell me how much it is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> just, I'm already sold. Tell me how much it is. Yeah. We'll pay whatever. Yeah. And I was going, is it going to be 20000 I didn't know how much yeah. it was going. So, I mean, it sounds yeah. to me like a perfect storm. First of all, I'm so glad that you overcame that and that you're here with us and, you know, that you're healthy and all of that jazz. And uh, man, I don't know the universe's plans sometimes in, in terms of like what, what shakeup needs to happen uh, to make you ready. But whatever it is, whatever, you know, perfect storm of events that brought you to this place, I'm so glad because there are so many, you know, millions of people that really have this problem and could use your help. Um, that, you know, you're such a blessing and you are here for this purpose. So mm -hmm. tangent, but I just wanted to reflect that on you mm -hmm. and, and really tell you, you know, really thank you for the work that you're doing in this world for, you know, not just for your patients and your readers, but for their families, right? As a daughter of an addict, which I've shared before, you know, it's something that is incredibly uh, close to my heart and something that I, you know, I just think, um, you know, yeah. it's something that you can make such a huge, huge impact in this world. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. um, so <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, girl. Like, you know, this is the work. This is the important work right now. So, um, so anyway, so, so, okay. So what, so you had all this self doubt and you had also this, these perfect signs from the universe of like, you know what, Leslie, you ain't here for no reason. You better get to work. Right. Mm -hmm. Like smack, smack. Um, and so, okay. So in, in, in the process and in the program and uh, you know, heck you haven't even graduated yet, but you're about to. So you know, we've put you through a lot in eight weeks. Um, what would you say is your biggest sort of win or takeaway or your biggest sort of um, accomplishment in just eight short weeks time? Okay. I, what I think my biggest win has been, has been jumping head first into this and doing the stuff, uh, totally assign, you know, just changing my schedule, um, changing everything so I could get up in the morning, do the work, write, um, and feeling so positive, so positive about it. Um, so I would say my biggest accomplishment is, is that just having dived into this and I'm a yeah. total newbie yeah. at things like websites and blogging, but I am totally ready to do this. Yeah. Yeah, you've shown up ready every step of the way and coachable and like, okay, what is it? That sounds scary. I'm going to go do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I love it. Somehow I'm going to, I'm going to get my book to the president. That's what I've decided. Is that so crazy? It. it does sound what? crazy and I love it. I absolutely love it. Yep. I'm the boots on the ground doctor. He loves boots on the ground. <laughs> He's trying to work on the opioid crisis. There you go. Remember, is my chance a hundred percent i mean here, here's the thing is we do crazy all day every day and that's why i love you guys is we really um you know what we ask you to do i always i always joke it's not normal right this isn't for normal people normal is getting up every day going into a day job that you hate uh yeah. having a crappy breakfast full of sugar eating well, you know just watching whatever crap is on TV and going to bed and rinsing and repeating and doing it all over again. So the people that come in our space, if anyone watching is that person and is happy with that life, they're not our people. We bless you. We love you, but not our people, right? Our people are the weirdos like you and I that really want to make a difference in this world and are crazy enough to roll up our sleeves and overcome all of that self-doubt because that's just part of being a human being on this planet and really roll up our sleeves and actually get to work and make it happen. Crazy or not crazy. We're going to do it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Cool. So in, in this process, of course, so, you know, tell people how far you've gotten. So you, you have a, a completely like a skeleton of a book already done. You've got a title, you've got a cover. If I remember correctly, you have a sales page, you have yes. pre-sales, right? Yes. Pre-sales. So how, how many pre-sales did you have with a list size of what? Okay. I sent, I put it on my Facebook page mm -hmm. and got maybe eight or nine. Yep. So your personal face, Facebook my personal face. Amazing. Okay. And then I sent out an email to yes, no, to like. Oh, right. We talked about this earlier. People. All right. We're going to fix and that. Got really frustrated about the PayPal button. Yeah. And then totally dropped out of my brain the pre-sales, but I've made yeah. actually 
um, 13 pre-sales. That's amazing. Class. So Which, with no, oh with no like official Hi. email list. Yeah. No email list. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. I love that. Um, so yeah, we're launching. We're like, with no list doesn't matter. We're going to make you do the work anyway. <laughs> that's fantastic, Leslie. And I love that you're doing that without even having, you know, graduated from the program yet, let alone having a book, uh, finalized just yet, but it's in the works. And now you have a heck of a, of a fire under the butt to make it happen. Now it has to happen. Oh, heck yes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. And so during this process, what, what do you think kind of came up for you as sort of a challenge that you had to overcome or something that was hard? What was the hardest piece of it for you? Um, I think the hardest piece has been what are people going to think when they read my book? Mm. I'm not the expert. Oh, yeah. What are people going to think? There are people who, uh, you know, one of the people who wanted to buy my books has got years and years more expensive, more uh, experience than I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing that really hit me was I don't have to be the expert in the science. Everybody thinks differently. I do not have to please anyone. Yeah. Do what is inside you, Leslie, just like all the writers that you admire. You are going out on the freaking limb. <laughs> You're going to write what you know in your gut. Yeah. And so that's still, you know, at times I get paralyzed, like, <gasps> what am I freaking doing? But then, yeah. then I go, you know yeah. what? This is, it, it's time. Yeah. You can do it. I love it. I love it. And I love the way you've shown up in the group and been so, you know, open about every single, you know, whether it's a, a step back or the two steps forward or whatever, every win, every challenge, just sharing that along the way. Because the truth is, it's not all roses and rainbows and unicorns all the time. There's little, you know, stumbling blocks and whatever else. And you've been fantastic with that as well. And also doing the work to really overcome that. Yeah. Um, so that's amazing. So in terms of mindset and sort of personal transformation along the way, was there any ripple effect from all of that business strategy, learning and growth that kind of trickled into your personal life as far as mindset growth or anything like that? Uh, yes. Um, mindset grew. <laughs> well, I, I'm recognizing that um, I have reprioritized my time without thinking about how to do the things that are not even in my zone of excellence, like folding laundry. Yes, I'm going, girl. Okay, I got to figure out how to do these things. Um, oh, we're going to chat. <laughs> Just you wait. We're going to chat. Yeah, I'm like, hashtag no more laundry. Yeah, so that's, that's amazing. So you're starting to see your, your time in, in like the whole pie chart, not just Leslie at work, but Leslie in 24 hours and value every single one of those hours. And, and waking up in the morning at four o'clock going, I cannot wait to wake up. What yes. in the world? I have not felt like that uh, since when? Like Christmas as a kid. I'm going, I love that. That's my favorite thing I've heard so far. <laughs> I'm just so, it, I, yeah, every morning I wake up and I've got thoughts in my head and I've yeah. already got the next book. I've got a podcast I figured out. I've got, you know, I've even told people about the second book I'm going to write. Yes. I don't even know how I'm going to do it. Yeah. But it, I'm, I'm like, you yeah. know what? It's, it's conviction. Here. I'm going to do it. Yeah. People need it. Yeah. I absolutely adore that. That is fantastic. I'm so glad you shared that because that's, it's such a um, tangible, uh, simple, yet really impactful feeling. Like, I don't know, I, I, you don't hear that very often of people like being like, I'm excited to get up at 4 a.m. and get on with life because life is not drudgery. Monday morning is fantastic when you're doing exactly what you want to be doing. Yes. So that's amazing. I love it. Okay, cool. And so, you know, would you say, like, what would you say is sort of, I don't know, the, the, the biggest thing that you would share with someone that's sort of hesitating in terms of, am I enough of an expert? seems like one of the things that you were, uh, yeah. was a challenge you had to overcome. Am I enough of an expert? Um, isn't there, you know, isn't so-and-so that wants to buy my book uh, no. more of an expert, you know, and whatever else, should I really do this? I mean, or should I just leave it to the pros and I'm not one of them? What would you say no. to them? Oh, this is what I'd say. I had a good talk with Lottie. Yes. I was freaking out. I had stopped everything and was completely panicking. I said, 
I don't know enough science. I'm afraid it's not going to be sciencey enough. And she goes, well, that is exactly why people are going to buy your book. Because they, if they want a science book, they can go out and buy a science book. And I went, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they are going to buy my book because I am going to boil it, <laughs> boil it down. Yeah, yeah to the real stuff English. in plain English. And if they want other parts that I don't know, Perfect. they can look them up and yeah. go get a book. And so I would say, you're an expert at what is in here. You are the expert and you yeah. have formulated it, formulated and synthesized it. And people, I don't know, somehow yeah. people need what I have. I what love that. I love how, you know, the conviction in you of that, you know, just because I've seen, I've watched this journey. It's so fast. Eight weeks goes by fast, but it's, we can do a ton in eight weeks and really, quite frankly, really change your whole state in that time, which is fantastic. And what I would add to that to anyone listening, thinking, yeah, but Leslie's an expert, but I'm not an expert. And I, you know, one of the things I really like to say is you don't have to be like the world renowned expert in a certain topic, but you do need to just be a few steps ahead of those that you can teach. And most people, heck, yeah. even my kids, my, my nine-year-old can teach my seven-year-old a little bit of math. You know what I'm saying? And so there is, always, there is always someone that can learn from you. And that's exactly, a lot of the times, who they want to learn from as well. So anyway, that is fantastic, Leslie. Is there anything else, any last sort of words of wisdom you'd want to share with anyone that is hesitating as to whether it's the right time for them to put their you know, expertise into a product and really go out into the world in this big way and take this leap? Um, gosh, I, this is what I would say. If you've ever thought, oh, m one day I really want to write a book. If you've ever had that thought, jump in now. Because the, as when you keep saying one day, it makes it enormously huge. You're going to procrastinate it. You're not going to ever do it. So if you actually see this, see what, see me on a, a webinar or whatever, yeah, do it. Just go now. I'm going to do it now. It will make it smaller. It will make it doable. It'll make you feel like, oh my gosh, it, if you have the thought of wanting to write a book, then you've got to have had it in you and you can yeah. do it. I mean, that's what I would say. Yeah, I love that. I love that because, you know, it really, like, if you can write an email, you can write an ebook. And, you know, the truth of the matter is, is I've checked the calendar and I haven't seen one day or some day anywhere on it. <laughs> so it looks like those two days don't exist. So now is as good a time as any. So that is fantastic, Leslie. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you for sharing your, your tidbits and your little nuggets of wisdom with everybody. I just adore you, adore your topic. Have loved having you in this program. And I can't wait to continue to see your wins. Um, along the way. I am so grateful to you, Sylvie. I am so grateful. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for having the courage to reach out to all us just struggling, you know, uh, whatever we all are. You know, I know there's all a mishmash of people, but um, practitioners. Yep. Yeah, practitioners. Thank you. You're welcome. On behalf of my entire team, I can say that it is an, our absolute pleasure to help you guys and you are a pleasure to work with. So adore that. So for those of you that want to find out more about Leslie's work, by the time this is up, her book might even already be out. So we're going to put the link to that below this video. Fantastic. And refer it to anyone you know that perhaps like me has, you know, addiction in the family or, um, you know, has friends and family because that's, that's a big part of this topic of addiction. It really is a group effort. And for, if you're thinking about writing a book, if you have expertise that can help other people, it is your responsibility to get it out there in some way, some form. If we can help at all, we would love to have a conversation with you. The link to book a call with my incredible team is below this video, sylviemccracken.com forward slash call. And we look forward to speaking with you. Thanks so much, Leslie. Thank you. <laughs>